My dear buddies, welcome back to Motorcycle University. So, in the previous videos, we spoke about in detail about these parts of the engine of a motorcycle. So, I always say this that if you call yourself a motorcycle lover, you should know how the internal components of your motorcycle work. And not always do we get the opportunity to have all these internal components in front of us, correct? Because we have to open up an engine and get all the parts out and they are expensive, not easy to get. So that is the reason I am making these videos. And we will keep making more videos about how to make sure that these parts don't get damaged or worn out easily. So we have reached the stage where we can talk about valves. So Nathan, could you please zoom in to show? close up of the valves we might lose focus a little bit here there but this is how a valve looks like okay so this valve is also known as valve people call it also valve or valve and very often you hear your valve is bent or it's burnt and they need to be replaced so Nitin have you got a close up yeah please zoom out so now what do these valves do so let's get back to the basics again four strokes of a four stroke engine induction so what does a valve do in the induction stroke okay primarily there are two valves intake valve and the exhaust valve okay so this is the cylinder on top of this would be a head I don't have it with me right now I will arrange that and then talk about how a head also looks like but on the top of it would be a head and this uh, valve would actually uh, be housed inside the head and then get pushed down by the camshaft I'll also show how a camshaft looks like in the next videos so in the uh, stroke the first stroke the timing chain moves the camshaft. This is a crankshaft which would be at the bottom of the engine and the camshaft, C-A-M, would be on the top of the engine. Okay? So, the camshaft would push the valve down in the first stroke like this. The movement of a valve would generally be like this. Okay? Down, up again. The general movement of a valve would be like this. The camshaft would push it down and it would go up again push it down go up again the going up process happens because of a spring so the first stroke the induction stroke the valve intake valve opens up and then air and fuel mixture goes in and then the intake valve closes again tight seal and during the compression stroke both the valves close they are upright okay because for compression to happen the complete cylinder and the head should have a proper seal and then during the last stroke that is the exhaust stroke when the piston moves up again taking out the gases from the cylinder that time the exhaust valve gets pushed down and the gases go out I mean the valves the job that they do is letting in air and fuel mixture, letting out the gases from the cylinder of an engine. As simple as that. So buddies, depending on the manufacturer of the engine, the engine could have just two valves. One is the intake, one is the exhaust. Or it can have four, two for intake, two for exhaust for performance motorcycles. And some engines could even have five valves. So, thank you for watching buddies, uh, do like this video if you gain some knowledge and uh, uh, do subscribe to this channel, more videos coming up. Thank you, bye-bye.